Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Raider Review on this Friday, November 18th. I'm Lakin Hergert. And I'm Bryn Afton. Every year, the school and its alumni come together for one week. This weekend is known as homecoming, and just as with its popularity, the amount of fun and things to do are always increasing. This includes a mini spirit week that is just as much fun as the actual spirit week that takes place in March. Let's take a look at a few of the many festivities that went on during this October.
With the entire day being filled with action and adventure, it seemed like a fitting end to watch the band play and then watch your very own Brookville Raiders play. In other news, there aren't that many interesting things that happen in Brookville Area School District, but when there are, we jump right on it. Today we will be talking to Mr. Kalkbrenner about his in-class trench warfare simulation activity. He will be explaining to us what the trench warfare simulation is, how it works, and the effect it has on the students. Hi, this is Kylie Mulholland reporting live on BASD TV 17. Most of you that have been passing through the upstairs hallway have probably heard the clashing shrieks of warfare coming from Mr. Kalkbrenner's room. Today we are going to enter Mr. Kalkbrenner's room and investigate what the commotion is about. Trench warfare is a style or tactic of fighting where two, te two opposing forces dig trenches or ditches to live in and survive in uh, while they fight one another, creating a no man's land between the two where uh, with overlapping fields of machine gun fire and artillery fire makes it uh, impenetrable by ground forces. So the students, they had to take the, the desks, not the chairs, the two very agile, take the desks and they used half the desks in the room to create their own trench. They had to decide the best form for uh, creating the trench, how to protect themselves to fit everyone in that trench, and then how to allow for easy attacks against the enemy without uh, bottling up to be, a, be killed in just gr large groups. Um, when you have two opposing teams and one's just sitting there shooting at you from a safety while you're out in the middle of the open trying to attack the trench, it's very difficult to make any headway and the trench simulation kind of brings that to a more personable level. Basically all we did was just let the other side waste all their ammunition and then we charged, attacked them all, and then we just killed them. I would, I would do it again. It, I ask him every day but he won't let me. Um, yeah. It was cool. We got to finally see the, what it was like and how open they were and how easily it was to get attacked. Uh, it was like sitting ducks in there and, and it was just really fun. I liked it. Um, it did put into perspective slightly how combat would have been during World War One, especially with the trenches and the uncertainty of when the enemy was going to attack and the, I want to say the harrowing experience, I guess, of trying to cross no man's land without getting shot. Probably going to change it up. I'm hoping to do it outside with more drastic consequences. Um, thinking dodgeballs, but we're... we're we're going to have to see about that. Now that we know what trench warfare is and how it affects the students, Mr. Kalkbrenner will be talking to us about how he prefers hands-on activities rather than lectures and what his opinion on this teaching style is. Lectures is okay for as long as you're a type A personality where you just get it from listening or if you're an audio or a visual learner, but hands-on makes it personable, understandable, um, makes it unique. It connects it to different parts of your brain, which makes it last longer. Guaranteed when kids leave high school the thing they're going to remember about trenches is the trench warfare simulation and at least have a simple understanding of the problems of trench life in World War One. With the devastation of war an armistice has been placed. The hallways are quiet and calm until the next in-class activity. Thank you for watching on BASD TV 17. Thanks to the outstanding class efforts from many of the Brookville area teaching staff, the students' time here at school not only goes faster but becomes more enjoyable as well. In other news, the votes are in, an historic upset. The people have spoken. We sent our crew to do some exit polling at the high school election headquarters and capture your insights on the historic American tradition. Who did you vote for, Danny, in today's election? I voted for Trump. For Nafton. For Nafton. Hi, Mom, and um, I voted Donald Trump. I voted for the Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I voted for Donald Trump, but hey, whatever. I voted for Donald Trump. Who did you vote for in today's election? I didn't vote for anybody because I thought everybody was bad, bad representatives of America. I voted for Hillary because I feel like she'd be a way better president than Donald Trump. Oh, Hillary. What? Now, Zeke, who did you vote for in this election? Uh, I voted for Gary Johnson. Why exactly did you vote for this uh, third party candidate? Because uh, I'm educated. Uh, I prefer to uh, keep that information confidential. Who do you think will win the school-wide election? Well, I think it's going to be a pretty uh, close race. I think uh, Jill Stein uh, is going to garner at least a half a percent of the popular vote. And I think uh, Hillary's going to make a strong showing with about 25, which makes it a, a pretty much dead heat with uh, Donald 75%, if I'm if I doing my math correctly. Who do you think is going to win? 
Well, I'm probably Trump because everyone seems to like his ideas a lot better. Why are you gonna vote for Donald Trump? Because I think he has more reasonable causes than Hillary Clinton. Vote for Nafton, 2036. Use the hashtag VoteBrin 2K36. I will be running for president in 2024. Sit on that. <laughs> Trump's the winner, and you hear to, heard it here first on Election Day. Finally, today, art prodigies showed off their skills at the 56th Annual Window Painting Event at Historic Downtown Brookville. Here is a little montage of the day's activities. Joker's my favorite villain. Um, it's going really well so far. We still have plenty of time to paint. We got it mostly outlined right now. Decided, why not? And here we are. Bentley. Bentley what? Bentley plus Spencer. Bentley plus Spencer. Are you having a good time today? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Do you like the window paintings? Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, probably the ghost. The ghost one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> It was a beautiful day in the neighborhood for some color to be thrown on windows. Congrats to all of our winners and everyone else who participated. That's our report for this Friday, November 18th, 2016. Our floor director today has been Logan Steele, technical director was Logan Mahalix, and audio en was engineered by Kylie Mahalan. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving and good luck to all the hunters. I think you told you these things.